Hi and welcome to our latest video where we want to show you how to open a file in five different ways. Our first option is through a SharePoint site. Now the natural option is to access documents via the web interface by going directly to a SharePoint site. You might use that option if you have an internet hub built with navigation that allows you access to navigate around all the sites created in your environment. This is best when you have other web parts or elements on a SharePoint site, when you have metadata and need to sort, group or filter the documents, or you have workflows that you need from the SharePoint site. Our second option is Microsoft Teams. If your preferred method of collaboration is Microsoft Teams, then you might not go to the site directly at all. Instead, you can access the document library via the Files tab in Microsoft Teams channels. If you do have other elements or libraries on a site, you can link them up as tabs on the Teams channel as well. This option is best when your primary way of communication is Microsoft Teams and you do not have many other elements or web parts to access on a SharePoint site. Our third option is OneDrive for Business. You can also access all the documents stored on SharePoint sites via your OneDrive for Business web interface. While primarily OneDrive is used as personal file storage space in the cloud, it also allows users to access shared libraries. This option is best when you are comfortable working out of OneDrive and do not need any other access to elements or web parts stored on SharePoint. Option 4 is Windows Explorer via OneDrive Sync. You can access documents just by synchronizing them to your computer via the OneDrive Sync. This will allow you to access your documents in a very familiar interface. This option is best when you work a lot with documents and need to navigate and reorganize them via your Windows Explorer interface, when you need to access documents offline and when you do not have metadata in your document library. Option number five is through mobile. Lastly, if you are mostly working from the field, you might need access to files and folders via your mobile app. In this case, you will need OneDrive and SharePoint apps so you can take advantage of not just documents, but also other elements of the site. This option is best when you work in the field or remotely and require access via mobile devices. Those were our five ways to open SharePoint files. We hope this has been helpful for you and please don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks.